Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and in today's video we have an HP NV M4. The model number is an M4-1050 and in this video I'm going to show you guys how you can open it up and how you can upgrade the RAM or remove the RAM for these models. I made a short video how to show you guys what's the maximum RAM capacity that you can have on your laptop. I'll leave that link in the video description. It's really easy, you can see it by yourself what's the maximum RAM capacity that you can have instead of going checking trusting other people's sources anyway and to upgrade the ram you don't have to worry about losing files or data or anything like that it's just pretty much just plug and play type so let's go over if yours can handle up to 8 gig you can put two four gigs on this one with no issue all right tools that i'm going to be using is really simple it's just a screwdriver set I recommend you guys to use the iFixit screwdriver set as they have one of the best bits out there. These are S2 class steel. We're going to be using a Phillips number one. With all this on hand, now we first we're going to remove the uh, battery by sliding this slider right towards the left. And the battery will come out like that. Now we need to remove this service cover. First, we need to loose up this screw right here. This screw has a little C lock on it on the other side and has a little spring. So this spring will push it up and the seed lock will prevent it from coming out entirely. So you just want to loose it up and you're going to see that it just pops out a little bit. Leave it like that. Now you want to slide this slider towards the left and there's a little more gap. You have to push it a little bit harder and the cover is going to get pushed over towards yourself. Now you want to continue sliding it about a little bit more and then let go of the other one. Now you want to lift it up from here. Now the RAM is right in here. This one is already being upgraded to 2 and 2. I believe this is a 4 gig and this is a 2 gig. So the client put its own 2 gig in here. To remove the RAM, you just have to pull these two triggers away from each other. And the RAM will come out in 45 degree angle. You don't want to yank it towards the ceiling. Otherwise, you're going to crack the RAM. You want to pull it out in the same 45 degree angle. Just pull it out in the same direction. Make sure the notch on the RAM matches the notch on the dim right there. So if you try to put it the other way around, it will simply not go through. So once you remove this one, to remove the second one is the same thing. Pull the secondary triggers beside the RAM and the RAM should come out in 45 degree angle. And you want to pull it out in the same 45 degree angle. This is a 4 gig RAM. This is a DDR3, so you can put a 4 gig on the bottom and 4 gig on the top. And then you put the 45 degree towards the dam, and then you want to push it gently towards the motherboard, and you want to hear a soft click. That's what you want to hear those triggers clicking back together. So you want to put it in 45 degree angle, all the way inside, and then make sure all the pins go in. Just push it a little bit harder in 45 degree angle towards the dam, and then towards the motherboard. And then that we have we have to get hear that soft triggers clicking. Now, something very important, once you put the new RAM on the secondary DIMM, when you power on, it might take to 5 to 10 seconds for the BIOS to detect the new RAM, so you're not going to get anything on the screen, so you just have to be patient, just wait a little bit. If after 10 seconds you still don't, you see the lights turning on for the keyboard and everything else, but there's no screen, don't panic. All you need to do is to power off, remove both of the RAM, and grab the new RAM, put it on the bottom slot, and then power it on. And then you want to power it off and put the second dim, the old one, on the secondary dim. And then, then you want to power on and wait five seconds and it's going to work. Pretty much you just have to switch the places and turn on one by one if in, it doesn't detect both at the same time on the first go. So don't worry about that. You can, if you have any question or request, feel free to leave them in a the video comment. I'll try to answer them and help you guys out. Also, if you want to support the channel, you can do that by clicking that like and subscribe. I'll greatly appreciate it. So pretty much we are done here. We're going to grab the bottom cover. We're going to put it in an offset position. We're not going to set it down straight on top. You have to set it in an offset position. And then we're going to slide it back together toward the top side. And once we slide it back up, and you're going to hear that click. And that means the cover is in place. All you need to do is to fasten the screw right in there. And that's it and put the battery back on it and there we have it as always thanks for watching and i hope to see you guys in my next video